Welcome back to Cataclysm. So I was just innocently sitting on my sofa reading an electronics skill book, and we have been interrupted by uh, by Jeremiah's brass. So he's saying keep your distance. So I'm gonna say yeah, okay. We'll put away our weapon, and he's saying hello. So, another survivor. We should travel together. What are you doing? And care to trade? Well, let's try and trade with them. Let's see what they've got. Oh my god, this Desert Eagle is worth $280,000. Okay. Survivor cargo pants. Uh, black pepper is worth six grand. That's hilarious. Um, EMP grenade. Yeah, I mean, you know. I would quite like the EMP grenade, but what would I sell him for seventy-five thousand dollars? I don't know. You don't have a weapon, do you? Uh, escape to quit. Um, wait, what's? Oh shit! I don't have the option to put away my weapon anymore. What do I? I don't know. You were hurt. Stop reading. Uh, yes. Please. Right, he's hitting me. No, please stop fleeing. Ah, oh, I wanted to be your friend. Why would you do this? Why would you make me kill you? Ah, uh, well, I do actually have to... Alright, I don't have any... Did I not throw that? I'm sure I threw that at someone. Well, I guess uh, I could throw it now. Throw... You know, it occurs to me that I may have hit the wrong key. No, I still have my Ambien. But, uh, no, I just threw that in the water. Well, that's no good, is it? Let's, uh, wield the broadsword and hit them and kill, kill the human being. Uh, did he die? Yes, he died. No, I don't want the water. Uh, well, I'll have your black pepper, I guess, and your EMP grenade. That's quite nice. I shredded his compression top with my... What? What? Oh, okay, I didn't want to be your friend at all. You had an etched human skull in your inventory. What the hell, man? What the hell? Where is that? Uh, what? What section are you in? It's not under other. Ambient, blah, blah, blah. Where the hell is this skull? Did I just imagine that? Am I going crazy? Ah, there it is. It's under tools. This is a human skull with strange etchings covering it. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to try and activate it. You can't do anything interesting with it. Well... What the hell? <laughs> I have a human skull. I don't want it. I'm just going to put it on my table here. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. And, uh... I want to go back to reading my book. I've read. I've taken a bunch of stims here, so um, okay. Electronics increased to six. Let's keep reading. And uh, I normally do this off camera, but I won't be doing it for too long. Uh, yeah, we got quite low focus, and our intelligence has dropped, but we're still getting uh, decent skill levels from it. We get about ten percent each time it. Upgrades, I suppose. So, I want to stop reading... Well, yeah. Somewhere around now. I'm not sure what all that noise is out there, but I'm pretty sure it's a harmless wild animal. Alright, so I'm going to go get some food and drink. Uh, what's that? That's coffee. Those are empty bottles. Let's get in my fridge full of booze. Well, actually, I can check here. Oh, quite a lot of rotten stuff here. Let's uh, let's eat the pickled fish. Uh, I might need to open that. Where is it? You open the jar, exposing it to the atmosphere. I wouldn't really matter if it was. Whoops! Didn't mean to eat the cheese. Oh bugger! I'm stuck with a glass jar. But yeah, I wouldn't really matter that much with uh, pickles. Uh, yeah, this really is just all booze, isn't it? Well, I got some cream soda. But, yeah, kind of looks like my fridge. Uh, grab a couple of cans. 
And I think we have some bottles to drop here. And we shall go investigate some stuff. Because, uh, uh, well, last things first. I'm going to try and install this CBM again. And see how it. W uh, what. Yeah, see what percentage I have. 30% chance of failure. I don't know, it's just too good. It's too good to uh, waste. Alright, I'm going to attempt it. Yes. No! My body is damaged. It totally failed. Right, okay. Well, fuck. Right, let's drink some of these drinks then. Uh, yes. Yeah, this is the problem with these sugary drinks. Like, because I'm full, it's not letting me finish the drink, which means I remain thirsty. Like, a lot more thirsty than I should be. Uh, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Alright, so I've got to take some aspirin for that pain. But I do want to find a lab to find some CBMs. Uh, I have no idea where I would go. Do I have uh, ID cards? I have science ID cards. I need to drop these tomato seeds. I'm not really sure where I would put them. Uh, well... What's on that pile? That's gun stuff. I may just take that, actually. I'll drop it on this thing here. I think, uh... I don't have a hoe to furrow the ground. I don't particularly care to grow... Uh, things, anyway. So, I'll take the slugs. And again, my lack of knowledge uh, I know what bird shot is. I have actually fired a, a shotgun uh, with bird shot in it. So, yeah, it's not going to do a hell of a lot of damage, but the slugs and the double O shot probably will. How much is that going to take up in my inventory? Not a lot. So, yeah, we'll take that. And one last check. Am I carrying. Well, I am carrying useless stuff. Uh, I'm carrying stuff like hacksaws and shit. Um, oh, I do have a hoe, actually. Derp. Alright, let's get rid of those things. And the wrench. And hope I don't need to fix my car along the way, but... Yeah. I just want to go out driving, really. Right, okay. I mean, that's... We've got, like, basically a hundred free space. I've got some EMP grenades to take out those bloody turrets as well. Which is nice. Uh, okay. The Humvee engine starts up. The question is, where do I want to drive? I could go out onto this road here and see where it goes. So I did explore it a little bit, but not a whole lot. So I didn't go to the end of it. Ugh. To the west is town. Just nothing but town. And that road... Oh god, the map scrolls so slowly. Yeah, that road ends in a bunker. There might be a lab down here. They tend to be at the end of roads, but I don't know. Uh, let's back up and um, go down this way. Ugh. Easy now. Oh, look out there, opossum. Don't want to get squished. Oh, look at the little rabbit tile. Yeah, so we're going to go this way and hit the end of this road and see what's down there. And of course I'm going to drive at 50 miles per hour. Ooh, there's a dog. Uh, I wanted a dog. Uh, dogs can't follow me though, can I? Can they? While I'm driving a car? I mean, if they attempted it. I don't know if dogs really have the cognizance to put on a seatbelt, so... Whoops. Didn't want to... Actually want to go through the gap in the trees here, which is... Like, right behind me. Oh, don't get stuck on the bushes, come on. There we go. Right, it's right here. We're fine. I think, anyway. Yay, there we go. Right, I could probably collect some apples and stuff. See, I'm already thirsty again, but I'm still full. So without water, I can't really do anything about that. It's a bit irritating. But yeah, I just basically brought some meat and pepper <laughs> with me. Well, you can put the meat, you can put the pepper on the meat, it'll be nice. Is that an engine? It is indeed. It's a V6 engine. Well, we don't really need that. Uh, the gun is off. 
So I've just noticed that on my hood there is actually a gun control. But um, I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually, but alright. What we have found is a hazardous waste place. There's an NPC down there. Genesis Keiko. Uh, well, we'll leave them to their own devices. Uh, I'll have a brief look in here, but alright, I have a wrapped radiation badge. Am I wearing a radiation badge? Because it would be a bit pointless putting one on if uh, I was already wearing one, but I don't think I am, so... Right. Let's check out what's in here. Uh, Earplugs. Uh, right, so they do actually cover the head. I don't know, can I wear these? I can. Um, and what? Right, because the ear defender things that I wear when I go to sleep to stop noise waking me up, uh, I need to take off everything I'm wearing on my head, basically. But these are fine. I can actually wear these. So I will keep them. And they don't take, take up any space. So that is good. Uh, clean suit, engineering 301. I'm not sure, uh, where are you? Da -da -da. What? Oh, it's there. Derp. What has this got? A uh, chainsaw, circular saw, stone axe, jackhammer, and a pickaxe. Is the stone axe, like, something you have to learn now? Oh. That makes uh, wilderness survival a little bit more difficult. So I've got a first aid kit and a radiation badge. I'll have those. I'll have the batteries out of there. But otherwise, not much interesting in this room. Unload and drop. Where is it? There we go. Alright, so let's reload my flashlight because I keep using it. Um, right, so this door's open. Oh, ho, ho, yes. This is what we wanted to find. So this is a military cargo truck. Uh, the controls are broken, so I can't drive it, but otherwise it's in pretty good nick. Uh, yep. So, I don't know, I like my Humvee though. I mean, this is unnecessarily large, isn't it? It's, uh, it weighs five tons. So I would like to dismantle that at some point. But my radiation badge changes from green to blue. Um, and the controls for this gate are knackered, so I'm not entirely sure I can get out of here. But, um, yeah, what have we got here? Sewing kits. Another sewing kit. Uh, a soap bar. I want to activate the soap bar. I want to see it do something. Where is it? What do you do? You can't do anything interesting with it. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna waste time by unloading these sewing kits. Alright, unload, unload, and drop. And uh, reload that one. I'm gonna try and back. Well, I can't, can I? I can't turn the engine on. Oh, no controls there. I was gonna try and back it out of the thing by smashing it through the gate. But it's not going to work, is it? But yeah, we need to be careful we don't get uh, radiation poisoning here. Because I really don't have the medical supplies for it. I love that radiation badge though. And open these crates. There's another one. That's always good. Uh, right, let's change from blue to yellow. We may have a little bit of vomiting soon. Ooh, hello. Signal receiver. There's 200 batteries. I'll have those. So yeah, just uh, crafting stuff, really. It's not that useful. Uh, whoops. What? <laughs> so I'm getting my button presses in the wrong order. Some more batteries. Okay, right. Uh, does this work? Powerless controls. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, well, I don't know. Is there a radiation suit? I think there was one in that corridor. Um, let's go check. Because I don't have my tools. Well, there's a clean suit. Environmental protection 10. So, I don't know. I don't know if uh, that would be enough, really, to protect against radiation. Because I really want to come back here and uh, dismantle this truck and take its various parts. But, I mean, yeah, I can't drive it out of there. There's one, two, three drawbridge things. Oh, yeah, we have radiation poisoning right now. I do have some iodine tablets, though, so we'll take some of those. Uh, take some more aspirin. Oh, we're still taking radiation. Away, away from the place. And we shall have to, uh, remove our badge and replace it with a fresh one as well. Right, I think I'll drive up this way and see if I can get out onto those roads. Right, let's turn around. Ugh, watch out for the tree. Georgia the jungle. Uh... Right, I'm still fumbling with the controls. I suppose I'm still a noob driver, and this is a military Humvee. But, uh, right, let's take off this radiation badge. And throw it away. See if I can throw it over there. Yes, I can. And we'll activate another one, and wear it. And hopefully the ambient radiation upon my person is not enough to affect it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but you never know. Come on, stay in a straight line. Oh god. Uh, have I hit the clearing? Right. I suppose I should go chat to that NPC. I mean, I got them turned on for a reason. So yeah, I keep thinking, you know, I want to be friends with these people, but... Yeah, here they are. Little blue fish over to the east there. So let's see, there's no one close enough to talk to. Uh, wait up, dig. Okay, right. Okay, cocksucker, drop your weapon. I don't think so. Screw you, no. You may be attacked, yes. Genesis Keiko turns hostile. What are you actually wielding? Because I'm wielding a Humvee. How about you? You're wielding a non. Alright. Uh, okay. Ooh, you got lots of drugs. Yeah, I'm totally killing you. Say hello to my Humvee. Alright, let's uh, gain some ground. Turn around. Oh, no, 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 don't go into the trees, no. Alright, splat. Hey, there we go. Alright, I think I may have hit a tree there, but that's okay. Only one. Only a little one. Right, ew. You had some water purifier, which has batteries in it. I'll grab that. Prozac, Oxys, Antibiotics, I don't need Thorazine, unless... I wonder if you could mutate into a Schizophrenic. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll do, I think. Right. Don't really need a water purifier. It's easy enough to make fire. It's one of the easiest things you could possibly do. Okay, so... I might just wrap the episode up there. We have driven around a bit. Committed murder. And we're going to continue driving. Is there another one? We may say hello to them, but I think there's enough murder for one day. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.